The U.S. is the single driving force behind the genocide of Palestinian civilians right now. They're paying for it, they're arming it. So the notion that nobody's done more to safeguard the suffering of Palestinian civilians is part of the fiction. Everything the U.S. says about the universality of human rights is nothing but a mirage. It's all rooted in double standards and hypocrisy. Human rights are not for everyone. The U.S. has always sought to protect and shield Israel from accountability for its crimes, very much in opposition to the world. The U.S. has consistently undermined Palestinian rights and consistently supported the aggressor. So Genocide Joe's actions I see as an extension of U.S. foreign policy towards Palestine and not as an exception or an aberration. No American president will let Israel go down the tube, All right. Democrat or Republican, it's not an issue. When we look at Israel and we try to understand this bizarre relationship between the U.S.-Israel and the words which are always used to describe this relationship. So I fought for Israel like no president ever before. It's always an unbreakable bond. Israel has built unbreakable bonds of friendship. The bonds between the United States and Israel are unbreakable. Our unbreakable alliance with Israel. Shared values. We're united in our shared values. The connection between the Israeli people and the American people is bone deep. Support for Israel has always been bipartisan. Uh, so for many of us, it's in our DNA. That's very strange language to use. I mean, it's a completely separate country that has nothing to do with the United States in theory, but in fact, in practice, Israel is an extension of the American imperial project in the Middle East. I think it's about time we stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body, for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made. None. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. If this capital crumbled to the ground, the one thing that would remain is our commitment to our aid, and I don't even call it aid, our cooperation with Israel. Any American right now watching this unfold should be deeply troubled because without U.S. financial support for Israel's apartheid regime, without the U.S.'s financial support for this ongoing genocide, it simply could not take place. And so as an American to know that every year you pay taxes, and that those taxes do not go to building a better educational system in the United States. They don't go to improving our healthcare infrastructure or providing more Americans with access to affordable healthcare. They don't go to ending student debt. They don't go to curing the problem of homelessness. They don't go to making sure that all of America's children are fed. They don't go to dealing with any of the domestic issues that we are facing as a people in the United States. Instead, that that money is being sent to Israel to make sure that Israelis have subsidized health care, that Israelis have access to affordable housing in illegal settlements on stolen Palestinian land. That money is being sent to Israel to prop up its military, which is responsible for carrying out a 56-year-long military occupation. That money is being sent to ensure that Israel can carry out these crimes. And that should be deeply troubling to every single American, even Americans who, let's say, look, I don't care about politics, it's all so far away, it doesn't affect me. I understand not everyone has to be interested in international politics and there's so many conflicts happening all around the world. How could you possibly keep up with all of them? But if you were to keep up with just one of them, you should probably pay attention to this one because your money is being sent to finance this particular conflict. That's money that not only do you need, but also could be used in many more beneficial ways. So we should all have a problem with the way that U.S. taxpayer money is being used to continue to de deny millions of Palestinians their human rights and do everything in our power to stop this. It's so essential in this moment to center Palestinian voices. We are credible narrators of our own lived experience and unfortunately the corporate media does not allow us to present our lived experiences to the world and to contextualize our realities. That's why it's so important to support alternative media 
that does give Palestinians a platform, amplifies their voice, and allows them to tell their stories. Join the future of journalism. Join Double Down News on Patreon.